hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing my very first makeup of the day i got this idea from jasmine bullard i love when she does videos like this so i'm like i want to do one too so here we are so i'm just going to tell you guys all the makeup that i used today to get this look every time i do this routine it just never fails me so let's get into it i actually did the same exact makeup in my last video the bath and body works haul video so y'all be sure y'all watch that because my makeup was popping so yeah before we get started don't forget to like comment and subscribe i also did a tiktok tutorial of this look so i'm gonna have that as well on the screen so first things first i started off with the merit great skin instant glow serum this has been my go-to i did do a dedicated video for this product um on my channel but i've been using this ever since and as you can see i put a pretty decent dent in it because i've really really been reaching for this because it just does something for my skin it really really does something for my skin so i put this on first this is the very first thing i use i use this as a serum a moisturizer and a primer i just this is the only thing that i use underneath my makeup so and then next i went in i color corrected i used the fancy beauty 410 pro filter concealer and this is what it looks like and i just did around my mouth any little spots that i wanted to cover up i did underneath my eyes as well and i just blended that out and then next i went in with the hourglass veil setting powder this has been my favorite setting powder for a while now i kind of try to pinch it because it's expensive but lately i've just been like let me just use my stuff you know so i've been using it lately and I think that's why my makeup been coming out real, real flawless because this powder is really good. I feel like it erases any textures, pores, and it also does a lot for oily skin girls, so it's worth it. I think it's like $54 or $44. I cannot remember, but it's expensive, but it's worth it. I've had the same one for at least a year and a half, and it's still, it's still pretty full. Let me see. Yeah, I've been using it quite a bit and it's still like pretty full. So I say it's worth it. I definitely say it's worth it. Um, it does expire. It says 12 months, but mm, child, it's a powder and it works. So I'm just going to keep using it. I use this powder underneath my foundation. And then the foundation that I actually use is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I'm in the shade 6W1 Sandalwood. And I think it's a pretty good match for me. Let's talk about this foundation a little bit. I feel like this foundation... I feel like this is becoming like my favorite foundation. So this foundation for me has been, I've been going back and forth between this and the NARS, what is it called? What is this? Uh, oh, child. So I've been, I've been going back and forth between the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation and the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I think I kind of like this one a little bit more. Not that I regret having this one because this one is good too, but this one just, y'all see it y'all see it i don't even have to really explain too much but this foundation is just that girl for me yeah that's the foundation i use and then on top of that as a brightening concealer i use the pro filter fancy concealer in the shade 350 and this is very bright like i kind of was like oh i probably should have went a shade darker but no this this works really good for me i do i carve out my brows with this i also brighten underneath my eyes and the rest of my face with this concealer it works good uh yeah especially with that hourglass veil powder on top chef's kiss i'm kind of going out of order a little bit but i also use the professional super setter setting spray i've been actually really liking this setting spray and this is just the mini one I actually really like the setting spray so use that also use the anastasia cream bronzer in the shade hazelnut and i actually applied it with a sponge i like to apply this with a sponge 10 out of 10 recommend this cream bronzer in this shade if you're my skin tone i definitely recommend this shade it's called hazelnut i was gonna buy the shade deeper than this but i actually really like this uh oh i just got a flash flood warning because it's literally pouring down rain outside yeah i'm staying in the house yeah 10 out of 10 recommend this cream bronzer it is so good i've been using it quite a bit it's like a little dent you, you see it you see it you see it i've been using my stuff y'all i'm so proud of myself but it i really love how easily it blends and yeah i have nothing but good things to say about this cream bronzer and then on top of that i use the fenty beauty sun stalker face eye highlighter palette this i can't put this down in yeah this is i don't know i use this for 
I use this for bronzer, for highlight, and I also used it in my crease. I use the shade Coco Naughty in my crease on my eyes as well. And then I blend Thick Mint and Coco Naughty together for my bronze on my face. And then for highlighter, I use this highlighter up here called Fat Glass. That's been like, I don't know, I can't stop using that highlighter. It's so good. And I just use a little bit, like not nothing too, too much, but it just gives a little, a little dimension. You know what I mean? So yeah, this has been my go to right here. Um, before I got this palette, I loved Coco Naughty. I was using it like crazy, but the one that I had, I feel like it was going bad. I still have it. I need to not have it anymore because I have this, but I feel like the Coco Naughty that I had was going bad because I had got that one when it first came out. So I needed another one and then this came out and I was like, I might as well grab this instead of grabbing just a single bronzer because I wanted this shade too, which I'm super glad that they did this because those two together, bomb. I kinda never really reach for these two shades right here, like the two lightest shades. I feel like I could use them, um, like if I wanted to do like an all natural look where I just use the bronzer to in my crease and then use these on my eyelid. I could do that, but I just haven't done it yet. But I also been using, um, what's it called? Caramel, Caramel Cutie. I've been using that too. So sometimes I just blend, sometimes I just put my brush in and just blend those three shades together and go in. But yeah, love, love, love this palette. Next for blush, I use the ColourPop Baby Cakes Test Powder Blush. I 10 out of 10 recommend this for my brown skin girls because this blush is just so pretty. I feel like it looks really, really pinky in the pan, but as you can see, I apply my blush right here and as you can see, it just adds like this warmth to your face. I don't know. I don't know. This blush just really does something for me. Like I just, I really love this blush. I literally ordered this blush because ColourPop had free shipping and I was eyeballing this blush for a while because I'm trying to remember her name on Instagram. Coco Swatches, what is her name? I'm about to find her because I need to tell y'all about her. She she be putting me on to all kinds of stuff. Yep, that's her name, Coco Swatches. Y'all, if you don't follow Coco Swatches, then what are you doing? What are you doing? But anyway, Coco Swatches posted this blush and I've been eyeballing it ever since. And I finally went ahead and purchased it when ColourPop had their free shipping. So that's when I got it. And I've been reaching for it almost every time I do my makeup ever since then. So yeah, she's that girl. Now we're gonna get into this eye look, which is really, really simple, but it's had me in the show code. So first I go in with Coco Naughty from my Fitzy palette. I just use Coco Naughty in my crease to warm it up. And then, I feel like I've talked about this palette on my channel before, but we gonna talk about it again. The Wild Child palette from ColourPop. So, ooh, mine is broken. Mine is broken, so my business, but I'm gonna just show y'all real quick what it looks like in the inside. This shade is broken, but the shade we're gonna talk about is Grassland. It's a matte eyeshadow with micro glitters. I need to just try to get close up so I can show you guys what it looks like in the pan. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna also swatch it for you guys. This shade is just so pretty. Like how you have a matte eyeshadow that look wet at the same time. Like that's confusing, but I love it though. So that's what I put all over my eyelid. And then in my inner corner, I grabbed the Frankation palette from Dose of Colors. And I used this shade right here called Just a Kiss. So I put that shade in my inner corner and then I blend it into that other shade from the ColourPop palette. I really love the way that they look together. So next for the lip combo, y'all know I got you on the lip combos because that's just, I just love lip products. So I'm very passionate about my lip combos. So first I go in with the MAC Chestnut lip pencil that we all know and love. And then I go in very, actually I go in very heavily with this. And then I go in with the NYX Line Loud Evil Genius lip liner. And I just line around my mouth with this color. And then I blend it in with the MAC pencil. So it kind of gives like an ombre type of look. You can't even tell that I have on a black lip liner. And then, so if you guys have watched my, this is Milky Gloss lip swatches, y'all know I did not like this shade when I first tried it on. But with this lip liner combo, the This Is Milky Gloss in the shade 
cookies and milk this shade looks really good with this lip liner combo so i've been definitely reaching for this and yeah now i don't mind it at all not with a lip liner by itself mm -mm. but with the lip liner combo yes ma'am a very important item that i forgot the masterpiece lashes by kiss in the style predator porter love these lashes that is everything that i use to create this look i hope you guys like this video because i really enjoy doing this type of video for you guys and i enjoy watching these type of videos like i said yeah comment down below let me know if you guys would like more videos like this instead of me doing just makeup tutorials so yeah because this is honestly a vibe for me but let me know how y'all feel about it but yeah thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video i wash my face and the next thing i'm going to use is the merit great skin serum next i'm going to color correct with the fenty pro filter concealer this next step is for my oily texturized skin girls this is the hourglass veil setting powder it's expensive but it's worth it literally place the powder all over my face just like that so next i'm gonna fill in my brows i'm gonna use a nyx micro brow pencil then i'm gonna use their lift and snatch their brow glue and then i'm gonna carve it out with my fenty concealer one thing i forgot to mention is that i don't use the brow glue until after i set my eyebrows so i feel like i took care around and have my brows done but let's continue on okay i'm gonna use the estee lauder double wear foundation but i feel like any foundation will work really good on top of this powder so don't feel like you need the exact foundation some cream bronzer. I'm gonna apply that with a sponge. The forehead too, and then the jawline, and the nose. Next I'm gonna go on with my Fenty Concealer and brighten everything up, and then we blend this out. Y'all gonna get tired of me in this powder, but I'm gonna go back in with my Hourglass powder and set my concealer. Wait, do y'all see that? Next I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Sunstalker Face and Eye Palette setting spray again so i'm gonna prime my eyelids and i'm just gonna use this shade right here in my crease the wild child palette by ColourPop, but specifically the color grasslands right here and i'm just gonna put this all over my eyelid and next another one of my favorite eyeshadows ever this shade right here. and i'm going to put that in my inner corner but i'm also gonna blend it upward something else i like to do with this powder once again is blend my eyeshadow because i don't like to sit here and blend for forever so just to make it like less less harsh i'm going to put that powder right there and just blend it like that and it's gonna look airbrush it's gonna look like that. i spent some time blending it but no i didn't blush i only apply my blush right here i still like to use highlighters so i'm gonna go in with this highlighter right here also on the brow bone. Something else I almost forgot to do is carve out my bronzer. Next, I'm gonna go in with my brown lip liner. I go in very heavy with this. And then a black lip liner. It should look something like this. And then next, I'm gonna go in with the NYX. This is Milky Lip Gloss in the shades. Milk and cookies, cookies and milk, whatever. And next, my favorite eyelashes ever. And that's it.